Hey guys, what's up? This is Carson Gaming 44 here, and today I'm bringing you a Industrial Crafting Mods video, and this will be episode six. So let's get out of this hole that we're in right now, and let's go and sh let me show you what I've done because I was really bored. I took this red matter hammer and I did this a lot, as you can tell, and I kind of made a tunnel. One sec, now let me turn on light. Kind of made a tunnel all the way down here. And I didn't know I was gonna find this, but I found it, and I found the abandoned mine shaft, which is pretty sick. So yeah, now I'm thinking about doing this to find a stronghold later in the future, so we can get to the end, which would be pretty cool. And we could make an ender portal, and I could show you that. Sorry, an end and uh, ender farm, which would be pretty sick. So yeah, um, so let me just stop talking and we'll, I'll show you dark matter furnaces and red matter furnaces. So you can see what I did, I collected a whole bunch of sand from when I was doing that thing with the dark matter hammer here, red matter hammer. And uh, so let's just get ourselves a red matter furnace and a dark matter furnace. So, if you want to figure out how these are, how you have to craft these, let's just get ourselves a recipe book. Here it is. Get ourselves a recipe book. And let's look at this. So, the recipe for this, for a red matter furnace. Okay, here it is. It's coming up. Uh, Okay, so here is a dark matter furnace. So you put a furnace in the middle and then dark matter blocks all around the side. So that's pretty expensive. And then a red matter furnace is three red matter blocks and a dark matter furnace. So that takes a lot more expenses still, but red matter furnace is a lot better. It's so place down our furnaces. And what you're going to need to do this is you're going to need a. Let's get an energy and. MK3. I'm breaking this stuff way too fast because this block is these this red matter tool is very good. See what I mean? So used to holding it down because you know. Okay, so let's get ourselves an energy collector. So to craft an energy collector, see where they are though. We're gonna collect. We're gonna do an energy collector MK3. But to craft an energy collector, which is R and no, wrong way. So, craft an energy collector. You have the MK3, so you're gonna need a MK2 collector. So an MK, so just an energy collector MK2. And I'm screwing up here talking. It's kind of bad. Here we go. An energy collector MK1. So what you're going to need for this is you're going to need a block of diamond, six coal stone, and a piece of glass, and a furnace. That's how you get an energy collector. Now to make an energy collector MK2, you need seven pieces of coal stone, one energy collector, and a piece of dark matter. Also now you're going to need you're going to get a collector MK2. And then for an energy collector MK3, you need seven pieces of glowstone, energy collector MK2, and a red matter furnace. No, I'm sorry, a red matter. A uh, piece of red matter. So let's do this. So now to power these, you're going to be needing a Artinovus fuel or Mobius fuel. So let's get ourselves some Mobius fuel because it's the easiest to use. So Mobius fuel here. Let's get two stacks of this. Let's place this right here. Let's place this right here. So now we want to test out how they work. So say you want to smelt this. You can see the difference in speed. Why well, I just put that in there. The difference in speed for smelting things is crazy. Now if you put in this in the red matter furnace, you can see I'm making stacks of 64 in about 25 seconds. So that's pretty damn quick. And it just goes into here and you have all your glass. So there you go. Not gonna really need to. It's not gonna take very long, obviously. 
So that's your red matter and dark matter furnace. Pretty much what it looks like. So, yeah. But, uh, red matter furnace is obviously a lot more expensive to craft since you need to make a dark matter furnace already. So, you know, it's gonna really affect you on prices. So, this isn't really the most easy thing to make. So, yeah. If you're just starting out, I would suggest just sticking with industrial craft iron furnaces and electric furnaces and induction furnaces. And by the way, I never showed you an induction furnace for industrial craft. Let's make another spot for this. You can just add in, uh, I think, I don't know. But, um, we'll just add this in. We'll get an induction furnace. So, here it is induction furnace. Here's our induction furnace. So, our induction furnace can smelt two things at once, and once it gets to 100% heat, it smelts as about as fast as this, but a little bit slower, so not bad. See, this is already done, and I already have four stacks of glass in about a minute. So, say you want to do this. Let's grab ourselves some coal. I need that coal, that's why I'm not using it. So, let's grab ourselves some coal, if I could find some coal. Be great. Okay, so here's our coal. Put some coal in here. Uh, actually, no, we're going to be needing a chargeable battery, of course. It's industrial craft. Uh, where's our chargeable batteries? doesn't want to do this. Okay, well, let's connect this here anyways. Let's get ourselves some copper cable. So we need some copper cable here, um, if I have any. If I, got, I mean, I, if, I, if I can find it. It's usually what we're, we end up saying. Because we can, here we go, copper cable. Okay, so this, ah, uh, of course, my magic flying ring is not with me when I need it. And I need one more piece. There we go. Add that in. Okay, so that is powered. Fat box is getting drained. Okay, here we go. Two. Let's fly up here. No. Okay, um. Okay, so. That is powered up. Let's, uh. Place ourselves down these stone bricks. Home bricks are very useful. And two stone bricks. Here we go. We're gonna need ourselves a piece of wood. There we go. Now we look good. Okay, so we have our induction furnace. Uh, place your cobblestone. See, it's gonna take a while to heat up, so just grab nine more cobblestone. Eleven. There we go. Uh, so. No. There we go. We have 10 and 10. So, here we are. And, uh, you see, it'll get faster as we go. So, you see, it hit 4%. It's going to go a little bit faster each time. So, you know, and it smelts two at the same time. So, as you can see, these are done now. You get every single one done. And it used barely any fuel at all. It's very great. It's not a big fuel hogger. But if you do want to make better fuel that will last even longer, you can make, uh, sorry, this is on equivalent exchange, so we're off with industrial craft while we're waiting for it to heat up. Well, actually, I need to show you the moment, so I'll just show you. But as you can see, it just gets faster and faster as it goes. So, yeah, it's pretty much the same thing, but except it takes time to heat up. So, back to equivalent exchange. 
you can also make better fuel. So let's try and get ourselves some. Uh, where's? Here we go. Eternalist fuel. So here we go. We got this. So if you want to craft this, you're gonna need to. You're gonna need a philosopher's stone. One thing. And uh, so. Just keep going. We will find ourselves this very soon. Okay, so you're gonna need four more bias fuel into the philosopher's stone crafting. So that makes you one eternalist fuel. So it's quite expensive, but it does last a lot longer. So that's one thing. And if you do want to change it back, you can change it back. So yes. Yeah, so now for the energy collector, back onto that. See, the energy collector collects you energy. So say you want to put this in here. Sorry, it'll craft you to the next best thing. So say you put, um, where's our Mobius fuel? Say you put this in here. That's gonna craft it to Artunless fuel. Say you have a whole bunch of Mobius fuel. It's just gonna craft it all to the next best thing. Okay, so. It's not bad, okay? So it's just the. So I'm just gonna make a whole bunch of that while we're waiting. And as you can see, made our stone. Didn't take too long. Faster than a regular furnace. Let's just place it in here. Here we go, we got our 20 stone. Okay, so. Um, wow, I'm surprised I've got barely any lag this, this video. So um, let's take all of our glass. And let's take this glass. Let's go pop it over here in this chest just for the hell of it. I just made this chest for no reason at all. And uh, I think next time, what what time are we at here? 12 minutes and 7 seconds, so I got tons of time left. I can still make it, I can make it to 25 minutes. So why do I still have this open? Minimize. Good. Okay, so, um, yeah, you can see it used up barely any fuel. So that's a great thing, and uh, yeah, so I think we're waiting at the moment. We're going to grab ourselves a wrench. Where is the wrench? Perfect. And... And we're just gonna hold V while we do this. Uh, I keep switching to it, that's why I was saying to hold V. But that's okay because it breaks it a lot faster than the wrench. And of course, I'm not holding this. So, we didn't break any machines. So, if you guys don't know how to make a wrench, just because you know you need a wrench for industrial craft, it's just so mandatory. Let's get down to industrial craft. Oof, we're pretty far away. Wait, what is that? Oh, that's just on the chest plate. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Should be there any second. Here we go. We're build craft and industrial craft now. So, gonna need to make ourselves a. We're going to need to make ourselves a wrench. That's what I came down here. And I went all the way back to number one. Okay, so a wrench is made by covalence dust. And covalence dust. And. Sorry, if you want to know how to make covalence dust, uh, covalence dust is made by. I pass it. I don't know how covalence dust is made. God damn, people ask a lot of questions. Screw that. We're making a wrench. It's gonna need covalence dust and wrench. That's all you need. Just one thing after another. So much more. So many crafting things when you get mods. It's just so hard to memorize everything. And then all your mods go. And you go to make something, and you're like, oh, I forgot. 
Everything got deleted when I restored my Minecraft. Hmm. And you're like, now why did I do that again? And then you go back and get your mods. Same thing over and over again every time. So I'm just here destroying this tin dust here. <coughs> so we can carry back our little what the hell? Oh yeah, that was me screwing around again. Okay, so let's keep going. I think I'm gonna make all of our industrial craft on this wall. So let's place an industrial craft block here. Something on each side. So how much stuff do I actually have? I have four things to place. So that's one, two, three, four. Perfect. So make this a little bit wider. God, this freaking red matter uh, tool is so powerful. just can't handle it. Okay, so let's go down here and let's place ourselves our induction furnace, our bat box, and our bat box will be going right there. And, oh no, that's not going to work. We're going to place our bat box. We're going to need to make one more thing. Place our bat box right here. Which will work perfecto mundo. I don't understand why I just said that. That was pretty freaking weird. Um, we're going to need some more copper cable. Uh, sorry. Uh, ultra low current cable. Which is made by 410. Sorry, 310 across the side. No. Come back here, bad box. Good bad box. No. Why don't you like to connect? Maybe I should connect it from this side. Because I'm cool like that. I don't know why you don't want to connect. Will you connect if I connect you like this? Remember about that. Tin cable can only travel so far before it loses its current. Or was I wrong? Eh. No, wasn't wrong, I don't think. It should be working, but it's not. Okay, let's get a wrench again. No. Okay, where's my bat box? This is taking a long time. Now you decide to work. Let's travel you a little bit further and see if it is the 40 cable distance because I'm pretty sure from here to my source panels. Yep, that's not. Uh, maybe it has to be a directly in line like this. 
I don't know. It's working. It's all that matters to me. God, I've made this little back area a mess. I like when stuff looks clean. Okay, um, so. Now that we got that set up, what about time? 20 minutes. Okay, I got 5 minutes to do this. Okay, so let's get ourselves some copper cable. You're gonna need this for copper cable. And you're gonna need to hook up your copper cable on the front there where the dot is. And you're gonna need to drag it here, 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 here. And then keep coming here, here. Okay, so. Macerator, extractor. Let's make one more thing. Let's get a. Uh. Cycler. Perfect. And. There we go. Let's place our stuff. Extractor. Macerator. Perfect. Cycler. Okay, so that is our new go craft setup, uh, industrial craft setup, and I'll be moving this dark matter stuff next time. So, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys, and I hope you guys like this video. And I really would like some feedback on my other videos and this video, so please leave me some feedback, that'd be great. And be sure to check out my other videos. And, uh, yeah. See you later, guys. Well, technically, now. See you later, guys.